Hi all, welcome to Freshers World YouTube channel on jobs and career. This is Ganesh here and today I am going to tell you the second part of MS Excel tips where it can be useful for both professional and students. So let's begin with our exercise today. We have brought you macro here today. Macro is very useful and in our day to day activities. Okay. So like said, I have given a set of data. I have said you, you have to do bold it, underline it and color it. Okay. Same criteria you have to apply on multiple cells. Okay. So what you will do, you will do again, bold underline. It will take consume a lot of time. So for that purpose only, we use macro here today. Okay. So what, how we can operate it? You can go to view tab. Here you can find a macro column. Okay. So here we do record a macro. You can give any shortcut as you like. Like I will like to give control Q for this. Okay. So now be careful. Once macro is done, you can't undo it. Okay. So do what I said, like bold it, underline it and color it. Okay. And stop from here. You can see stop it so let's see what it does press ctrl q see so here what macro has run it has re reduced all your three steps in one keystroke that's why i think it will be useful for you to use your on daily basis so let's move on with our second exercise so this is our second exercise where i have given you task to copy this cell data to this cell and this cell data to this cell for all of the data I have given to you you have to do like this so how will you do it if you do like I have done copy pasting it will take lot of your efforts and time also Go, okay agree with me so for this only I have shortcut for you which is macro here we can apply macro can do this work in just couple of seconds so how to do it how to achieve it again go to view tab you can access from here record a macro or there is a second option also you can go to files option you can customize your ribbon there is a tab developer tab okay which provides all macros macro fit icons where you can record also go to vba and different kind of stuffs also so going here record a macro give a shortcut okay so let's do it cut it paste here again go cut it paste here then delete these three cells because they are not useful for us now then again go to this cell so why we have stopped at this cell because it will again continue with this cell it will perform macro with this cell okay so let's do this can you see this got it okay let's move to our third exercise so this is a third exercise okay in this we are going to learn about vlookup how to use vlookup Okay, let's go. Today, we are going to use VLOOKUP in this. Suppose I have given you this criteria, you have to find all the belonging details here by the help of this number only. So, how will we apply VLOOKUP in this? Equals to VLOOKUP. This is a lookup value. Okay. So, I want my table is this. In this, I want all this data. From this, I want all the data. Select this. Comma. You can see it asking for column index number. Column index number is just the column for which you want data. Like I want first name. So this is second column here. Comma. I want exact match. That's why I have put zero here. See, you got it. You can find it also. Find as Sujal here. This is the first method you can apply. For here also you will apply. We look up. Look up this only table a area remain array remains same as before now i want last name so i will put third column comma exact match okay got it 
so for this this second method also which will save your these steps these many steps in one shot you can do find all the details here so for that what we have to do we have to again apply v lookup select the lookup value comma tab table array you have to select as before okay comma column index now here what to do column index you can use match fu match function for getting the column number look up now here it will be the first name i am looking for comma look up array will be the table headings this only remember that now okay comma zero exact match again in this also i want exact match so here if you drag down it oh you can see there there is error okay for solving this error there is one simple trick okay this is a formula by f2 also you can see that formula here we have to give reference i have given column reference okay done here also i have to give a column reference here done so let's see now got it so this we got now you're wondering like how will i put that references you can do it by just simply pressing f4 here you can see it changes by this only we can change reference here so that's all for today i hope it is interesting and helpful for you in the next videos i am going to explain few more easy tips so kindly do follow this series if you are looking for any kind of job do register at freshers world and do like and subscribe our channel thank you